All right, so the goal for today is to take my Creality, Ender 3v2, and get rid of this, I don't even know, is it borosilicate or carbon carbonate silicate? I can't remember. But whatever it is, it's not normal borosilicate glass. It's slightly different. It's got a coating. We're getting, going away from this, and we're moving towards, I think it's P P E O P I E or P E I P E P E I P E O is the goal with the twist with the um, spring the the spring steel. First step is going to be to install the magnet material. So it's got the adhesive on the back, magnetic front. Boom. Uh, I think the best way to go about this would be to peel a corner. I guess if I align the front, that's probably most important in terms of aesthetics. Although it'd be probably easier to do one side. And that's not what's going on here. I think we're okay. Oh, almost knocked it off my desk. I really want this to look good, so it's going to be a little bit more... Okay, that's not so bad. <sighs> okay. Now I gotta look if there's actually some sort of required amount of cure time. I'm gonna guess you should give it at least 10 or 15 minutes for the glue to, to bond with it, but I don't know. Next, let's throw this bad boy on there. Gosh. So I'm gonna go and put it on backwards for now. I'm not gonna print on this yet. But I'm going to throw my uh, PEO, PEI sheet backwards. I think it's backwards. I'm not sure, because I have seen it where there's alignment pins on some of the printers. I don't know if it's showing. Oh, yeah. There are some like printers that have alignment pins, or like on the Ender equivalent of this, that you can buy straight from Creality. Ew. Uh, it actually has uh, little notches with some screws on the back. I didn't want to go that route. Um, I... I, I really don't see the need. Um, also, I really, really wanted this uh, PEO Bamboo Labs, Bamboo Bamboo Labs, yeah, style um, style sheet. Well, so yeah, I got the, it running. I already did my leveling. It took a little bit of effort to get the Z offset corrected since this is much thinner. But yeah, it looks it's pretty good. Now, for the coolest part of this, uh, is just how easy you can take these parts off the bed. So just what, and that's it. Perfect. Oh, that was totally worth it. Yeah, it was a slight bit of effort to readjust it, all the leveling, but never having to worry about scraping apart again. Fantastic. Plus, you get this cool little pattern. Anyway, look forward to showing you guys more upgrades to my printers. Catch you next time.